It's springtime and in Texas that means a lot of things, including snakes. And Texas is ground zero for many venomous types. So what do you need to be on the lookout for and what do you do if you run into one? Let's find out. Joining us live is Clint the Snake Man Pustajowski to help us out. Good morning to you, Clint. We always love having you on our morning news to help us out with this. What are the most common snakes that Houstonians might see this time of year? Okay, well, actually the most common type are going to be your little terrestrial and fossorial type snakes like brown snakes, what's called a decades brown snake, rough earth snake, these little guys you see in your gardens, then your ribbon snakes. But then we have the venomous snakes that you want to watch out for that camouflage better than these other ones. For example, the copperhead is the most camouflaged snake and the cotton mouse. So we have three snakes over here that we'll look at. And this is a timber rattlesnake, not found in the Houston area, but not far from it. Montgomery County, you might go out to head out west on 59 southwest and then west on I-10. And once you get past the Brazos to the Colorado, you definitely have the timber. And then you have the copperheads. These are the guys that are most likely to put you in the hospital. They're so well camouflaged and they don't hesitate to bite. So you look for them take three steps back, leave them alone, they leave you alone. And then the famous cotton mouth that gets the bad rap for being aggressive, they just sit there with the mouth open. They're pretty harmless, but they can bite, make up probably five to 8% of the bites. And guy in my hand's just a pet. So what you wanna do is know how to look for these snakes and then learn how to back away from them. You wanna actually, back up from these animals and just let them be. If they're in a place, maybe a school ground, somewhere where there's children playing or you're not gonna be able to keep people away, you wanna have a professional remove that snake, not an amateur. This amateur could end up in the hospital. Professional's gonna use snake tools, kind of like these kind of tools. These are tongs. These are what you grab snakes with. And then you also have hooks and so forth. Hooks come in very handy for working with snakes. And maybe I can lift one out, maybe I can't. Just depends what the snake wants to do. And you can see this little copperhead. This is a broad-banded copperhead. We have southern copperheads in this area, or what we call the Hershey Kisses copperhead. Give you an idea of how you can just pick those snakes up and all I did was disturb them. They were sitting there until I disturbed them. So that's why you back away and leave them alone and don't mm -hmm. disturb them. Well, it's good to know what to do because I think a lot of people panic and they kill the snake. And I always try to tell everybody I know snakes are here for a reason. They're on earth for a reason. Just back away and leave it alone. Now, what do you, do you suggest that people call somebody if they are concerned to, to perhaps try to remove it from the area? Yes, you can call someone like me. There's lots of people that do snake removals. You can go to Facebook and look for Southeast Texas snake removal pages and actually ask somebody to come and remove the snake. A lot of people will do this at no charge. Unfortunately, it's my business, so I can't do that. <laughs> so the bottom line All is right, get Clint. the snake removed if it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Well, keep the grass short around your house, trim those bushes, and that'll hopefully make them not want to hang out in your own yard. All right. Thank you for your time today. Yeah. And I and love your snake anything, pet that's uh, wrapped around your arm like a bracelet. Okay. Thanks, Clint. Yeah,